guys i have been working non-stop you know trying to get my house trying to get my keys and trying to you know check guys i'm sorry i did not do an intro um welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl nancy i am back here and i am back in ghana in fact i am in ghana for my first time it's not like i am back in ghana please please make sure you watch this video to the end give it a thumbs up subscribe please add me up i am new in ghana and i don't have any friends and i need to you know have friends here and there please if you're interested please hit me up and let's make some friends i need people that will take me around ghana so yeah let's get to the video we'll check furniture prices before making like a list and a budget I didn't know things were so expensive here in Ghana. I mean, to get a bed, a comfortable bed. My bed, eh? Let me tell you guys something. I got my bed, bed I use to university. I got it for 80K. And it was comfortable. It was a small bed, though. It was a small bed. That's like 800 Ghana CDs. The bed and the mattress. And now for me to get that same bed here because I love small beds, you know, I don't like it when my bed is too big. When I'm sleeping at night, it gives me the feeling that somebody is with me on the bed, especially if I'm alone, and it's just, I cannot do it. So today we're going out to find furniture and then we're going to arrange the furniture in the house. So I really pray I find a, I find a bed that can fit my budget because damn. There is this app called Gigi, and Ghanaians use the use the app a website that connects sellers to buyers. So I've been looking for my bed there. I'm looking for the rest of the furniture there, and everything is just so expensive there. So we are going back to China Mall. Uh, I already took you guys to China Mall to check prices, and so we are going back there to China Mall to see if we can find the things that I want. That's it, guys. My face has been purging out madness since I got here um my face always takes some time before adjusting to climate and if you have noticed uh, i've been getting a lot of acne on my jaw recently and i recently learned that it's because of the mask it's called mask knee it's not actually a musical term but it's a thing apparently for those the people with very sensitive skin if you start getting rashes around your jaws when the pandemic started know that it's because of the mask and it's something I'm working on because it does not look good on camera, I swear. And it's, a lot of you always come up here and tell me, ask me why I don't do makeup. Please, please guys, if you don't accept me like this, do makeup. Honestly, honestly, my face reacts poorly to foundation. I cannot do makeup. Honestly. Anyways, we're going right now to get the furniture. Yanko. Guys, Yanko means let's go. Yeah. Then come is let's go in three. guys i remember taking you to china mall earlier like in my previous video where i was checking prices i did a vlog about that please if you've not watched my checking prices in ghana video please make sure you stop by and watch i just did a quick check on the malls in accra so like i was saying i came here last i came here like some days ago and i checked the prices and i went over I went back home did my budget and all those stuff like that today i'm actually coming to get the stuff so i'm just trying to look at the things that will fit into my budget and then carry them and go guys let me tell you something about china mall they have fixed prices like they're not going to they're not going to remove anything from the money i spent over two thousand 500 Ghana CDs here if I'm not mistaken. I got a wardrobe. I got a kitchen cabinet Like a cupboard. I got a bed. I got a dresser and 
basically this vlog is just going to be me trying to figure out the furniture and the color of the furniture that i want i was really disappointed because there were, there were no white cupboards or white dressers i actually wanted my furniture to be white if you know what i mean because right now i have an issue with color in my room everything has its own color and it is not it's not looking good i don't know i'm going to find a way to make it like coordinate even if it gives me that rainbow feeling oh and also guys when you get to china more if you get to china more and if it's your first time there especially as a foreigner when you select the furniture make sure you try it make sure you try to like use it like try it be oh yeah if you know what i'm trying to say to check like the durability because this cupboard if we had just gotten it like this and we would have gotten home things would have been difficult for us so the guy had to come and pan a bit it a bit and um one of the workers was he was shouting the whole time saying that these carpenters just fix rubbish here and people come and collect and they start blaming customer service and all that yeah you have to make sure you stand and watch them assembling your your product else you're going to go home with the cupboard that faces outside instead of inside Even oh, so I'm thinking of just getting this table, this dresser. It's not the color I wanted. I initially ordered for white, but the white is not available. So, I'm thinking of getting something like this. I can put my sewing machine on top and paddle with my legs for the meantime Mad man, eh? You be, you be, you be foolish man, eh? That got foolishness gold. Idiot. What's it that ball? I need to fix for you. What's it that ball? I need to fix for you. What's it? Oh. Yeah. So this one, I can't use bed sheet on that. No, everything, everything is fixed attached. Okay. Guys, I discovered the strangest thing about Ghana. They have these beds, these um beds. They call them building beds, and the mattress is attached to the to the bed frame. And it's not trust me, it's not in a way that you can you can put your bed sheet there. They said the bed sheet has been attached to it. Like as you see these beds like this same. Eh? As you see the bed, the mattress part, and you see that material on top, that's supposed to be the bed sheet you're supposed to use for your bed forever and ever. And I was just asking this guy that what if the, the bed sheet gets dirty because eventually it will. And I don't know. They said, oh, there's no need for for bed sheet and bed spread and all that. But I, I had no choice because this was what um, fit my budget. The other beds that come in mattress. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If you're not strong, you cannot buy them. So just quietly take your money and come and get this one. And by the way, I got this one for 1,000... 1,020 Ghana, 1, Ghana cities. <laughs> 1,020 Ghana cities. Yes, that's... um, Yeah, approximately like 120K or something like that. And I could not even afford the white. Can you imagine? I got the bed, but the brown. And I could not afford the same thing in white. The white is more expensive. It's like 1,350 Ghana cities. And don't even look at that bed there. That white one with the frames, the gold frames. If you don't have money, don't even pass beside it. Because I initially wanted to just get a mattress and then place it in my room and be sleeping there till I have money to get a bed frame. And then I asked myself, when will I have money to get a bed frame? And by the way, these beds are tough. That It's like a couch stronger than some than most couches 
it's not like a couch trust me it's stronger than a couch but it has a couch vibe that couch feeling so and it's going to be a long run i pray god helps me to make my bed softer cause i don't know what i'm going to do anyways guys guys i'm sitting here i'm confused i am so confused should i get this strong uncomfortable bed that is i don't think i'm ever going to put a bed sheet over because of the way it's, it's tapolin let me just get all my stuff at the same time if I'm, I'm not feeling this i'm not going to lie i'm not feeling this bed i need something soft like uh, need something soft the main problem with this bed is that i cannot put a uh, well let me show you how the bed looks like just sit and say oh let me just make a uh, furniture that has the mattress it has a bed frame and it has a bed sheet over it okay. and a pillow it's i don't know if they could change the mirror of this one then i'll be grateful guys we have got a uh, hey i've gotten the bed the dresser the kitchen cabinet the kitchen cupboard the wardrobe and all together that that is like two thousand four hundred ghana cities which is like 200 it's key so my voice don't finish money don't finish from here if you see me in ghana please give me even bangu Make a yeah. Now we are go to curtains. Hmm? All the curtains have door colors. Has yeah, I had color trouble finding a now. curtain with popping yeah. colors. And I think this was not the place I should have checked my curtains. I although I already bought the curtains, I bought for fifty five CDs each. That was eleven CDs. Sorry, eleven one hundred and one my god my god i suck at this i suck at calculating that means the whole time my guys i've been calculating money in france cfa that's what i've been doing and i've been messing up my change a lot a lot this is 50 cities how many will be okay one this boy my phone to take a video of me doing shopping this boy started vlogging on his own like this is the only time i appeared on camera the rest of the time uncle was just taking pillows and other items I, I'm, I was so frustrated like the whole time for almost 30 minutes this guy was not taking me he was taking his items like he was the one that came to visit ghana anyways Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just want to eat you with bobolo. Oh, you look good in my plate. Oh, see this one, just imagine eating this one inside bread like sardine, pepe. Oh. Guys, we went to China more at around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and we left that place at 3 o'clock. And I think I'm just going to do part 2 of this vlog. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like, leave a comment. And let me just get those warm welcomes to Ghana. Because I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to start my journey here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank